And now the problem is we want to measure how cold is this cloud really. But you cannot simply put a, th a thermometer in there because the thermometer compar comparing to this cloud is extremely hot. So if you that put that in, then all the atoms will immediately heat up completely. So what we do instead is we measure the motion of the ultra-cold atoms that we have here. And that works a little bit like this. If we think that these nuts here would be our atoms, and if I take them, and we know already that temperature means there's random movement. So if I shake my hand, this is what happens. And to measure how fast they move, I simply let them drop. So it looks a little bit like this. I would throw them up here but rather than drop. But that gives us the idea. If I do this, then you see, instead of having just one bunch of atoms, suddenly they fly around. And what we would like to do is follow their trajectory. So we do exactly this. And then we take a picture of the atoms where they are. So if I look at the distribution here, then actually that this tells me how fast were they moving apart. So I prepared a movie that we took the other day here. What you will see here is a slow motion movie of the atoms dropping. So here, this is a live picture of what's going on in our vacuum chamber right now. Um, then we switch off everything, meaning the laser light and the magnetic field, and the atoms, the atoms will just drop. And what this looks like is this. So this is the initial stage. So you will see a movie of these atoms dropping over 30 milliseconds. So it's really a slow motion movie. And that looks like this. And what you saw here is you, we started from a small cloud. And while it was dropping down, it actually became bigger, just like our nuts were flying into all directions. And if I analyze this picture, I'll just do it once again. And here in this program that analyzes all these data, here you see the movie again. You see here the measured size of the cloud. And this is over a time of 30 milliseconds. And you see how it increases. And by the slope of this, how quickly it increases, we know how fast the atoms were moving. In this case, we know they move at roughly a centimeter per second. And that tells us that actually the temperature of these atoms is 100 microkelvin above absolute zero.